Mr. Beast is the biggest YouTuber in the world and someone on his channel is of major, major risk to children. And now Mr. Beast has officially responded after all the viral videos about this. And he's calling for an investigation on Ava Chris Tyson. This is what he said. Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I've been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. Now you're probably asking who is Ava Chris Tyson and what the heck even happened? I mean, this is a massive deal, by the way, and this gets really, really dark. So if you watch any of Mr. Beast's videos, you know who Chris Tyson is. And eventually Chris Tyson transitioned into Ava Chris Tyson, still in a lot of Mr. Beast's videos. And this raised a lot of controversy, obviously for just what it is on the biggest YouTube channel in the world. A lot of controversy also sparked, I mean, there was a child involved and there was some interesting pictures that popped up on the internet of heels on the baby and everything. And things got absolutely wild and people already had their suspicion about all of this and recently there was some things that popped up about Ava Chris Tyson talking to minors so let's talk about it the year is about 2018 at this time Chris Tyson would be around 20 years old in college and the person involved in the main allegation we're gonna call him Lava because that's his name on Twitter He's about 14 at the time, not even a freshman in high school or maybe just reaching a freshman in high school. Now, this all started on Twitter. So Chris Tyson is trying to get people to donate to his Patreon. Lava goes in and says, I donated a dollar. Chris Tyson res responds by saying, but not five with a kiss emoji. And then Lava responds, check again, winky face. Again, Lava is the 14 year old. Chris responds, I just posted some fire nudes for you. Keep in mind, this is a 20 year old saying this to a 14 year old, winky faces, saying that he's posting pictures just for him. And then you skip two years later, it's now 2020. Lava posts them in a voice call alone in Discord. Not only that, time goes on. You start to read the chats and then you see a Discord chat where eventually they would meet up. The Discord message said this, from Lava, I drove from West Virginia to North Carolina. I'm sitting in a camper in the woods right now. So he's in a camper van and next thing you know, we see pictures of them meeting up. For privacy reasons, we're going to blur out the victim's face, but that's Chris Tyson on the right and they met up. You gotta realize this is about two years later. So he would be around 16, Chris Tyson would be maybe around 22. These are not exact ages, I'm just guesstimating. All of this information ends up going viral. And then Lava comes out and says, Ava Chris Tyson never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. Can you do me a favor and comment on all these videos, blah, 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 basically saying that it was all jokes, nothing bad ever happened. And then Ava Chris Tyson then also tweets, I'd like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone or apologize. It's not my intent seeing recent events. We've mutually decided it's best I permanently step down from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. A few days passed by and then Mr. Beast says the investigation thing you heard in the beginning of the video. When everything started going viral and surfacing the internet, more people came out and shared their experience with Ava Chris Tyson. Listen to this from Mr. Beast used me, manipulated me, and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. I was actually friends with Lava GS at the time, who is the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days, who claims he isn't a victim, but we all know he is, and we all know he probably got paid off. Not only that, but he's also under an NDA from when he worked for Mr. Beast Gaming for two years, and he tried to get me to join Mr. Beast Gaming himself, Lava. He's the one who actually sent me the contract and tried to get me to sign the NDA, at which point I ended our friendship because I knew they were just trying to silence me. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him uh, set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. Nate's calling me. Hey, what's up? You're on stream. Oh, you, you just leak 
your address. Please end your stream. As well as other technical backend things that he needed help with. This Discord server that we were a part of had about 10 people in it, most of whom were miners. I'm not sure how they got in there, other than me and Lava. He won a giveaway and Chris invited him after that. And Chris invited me after I saw one of his tweets asking for help setting up a Gary's Mod server for the 10 million subscriber Mr. Beast video. This turned into us having lots of private conversations with Chris and playing video games with him for hours on end. Not only did we do a lot of unpaid work for him that he promised he would pay us for, he would also frequently bring up sexual topics that was definitely not appropriate to bring up around 15, 16 year olds, especially with him being like I don't know, 20, 21 years old. He would even go as far as linking me several different corn and tie videos throughout the time of me talking with him. Not only that, but he had an NSFW bot in his Discord server before he made it public. So when it was just a private server, uh, his little circle of miners. And he would use this NSFW bot to spam different corn images, corn images, um, alongside all these 15 year olds. He would also frequently call me dad and daddy as well as the others, which I guess we all kind of just took as a joke at the time. You have to think this is someone who we looked up to at the time, we idolized, we thought was the coolest person in the world, so they couldn't really do any wrong in our eyes. But looking back, I was definitely uncomfortable uh, at being called daddy by a 20 year old. Um, and it, even just thinking about it now, it's just uncomfortable. This server later went public and became his official Discord server, but before it did, he had me and Lava spend multiple days scrubbing this Discord server clean of all of the N-words he had sent in it, as well as his friends, as well as deleting the NSFW channels and making sure no one could see that he was spamming corn to miners. This story is so much bigger and runs so much deeper than any of you really realize, so if you wanna hear more and you want a part two, so Lava responds to this tweet and he says, yes, I know this guy. A lot of the statements he made in the video about me are completely not true. I was friends with him. We played games together and worked on the Discord. Yes, he was later removed from the Discord because of how unstable he was. He would lash out and verbally attack other members of the team. I never sent him any contract and I've never been under an NDA since 2022. I've not received any payment, nor are any of my socials monetized. I did inform him that he might be offered a job to help work in the Minecraft videos around the time I was, but it never happened. We did not scrub the Discord clean of racist remarks, or we did convert the Discord from a private one to a public one in a day after it had been made public. This involved setting up moderation bots and channel permissions. We also had never done unpaid work. At no point was there any agreement that we would be paid for anything we worked on. Nathan has deleted his Discord messages between me and him. He also deleted his original Discord account. Nathan was more involved with Jake the Viking, who used to work for Mr. Beast. Here's a video with Nathan in it being tagged as the editor. So I guess this guy's name is Nate or Nathan. You could hear him in that clip of Chris Tyson calling. He's like, Nate's calling and he answers. So he was helping him with um, the streams in Discord and he agrees, Lava agrees. Uh, but at this point, it's his word versus lavas and i guess this guy's saying he's probably getting paid off for all of this who the heck knows there's no proof of that this is all alleged by the way everything in this video alleged so at the end of the day there's a lot of controversial stuff going on but we can agree that there is a lot of sick and disturbing things that ava chris tyson did and like mr b said it needs to be investigated and by the way there is a whole lot of other disturbing things that i don't even know if i can show you guys so i really just wanted to comment on the main allegations but there is proof of other stuff that i'm not even going to get into and you guys if you know the situation probably already know about it and if you don't you could go on x or twitter and find that but that's all I have to say about that. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Me personally, I'm disgusted.